so how to crawl this picture out of the background all right in photoshop this would have been very easy and here too it's easy but just uh, you just have to use your own technique in cropping the image out okay so to do this we need the help of the pen tool that's what we'll be using we'll be using the help of the pen tool so like i said the pen tool it's here if you can't find it here just just try to um, click on this back arrows and check in here you'll find it okay so let's start all right so using the pen tool we are coming to use the pen tool to trace around the image okay then after that we will do one simple thing all right so let's start so first of all you have to zoom in as um you zoom in to get close because of time i'll just rush through it okay so almost the same way you may do it in um, photoshop you can do the same thing here the same way okay so because of time i won't get everything accurate but i'll get it i'll try and get it some point okay so you come to this side and drag right this is not um this is not like photoshop that when you hit here it goes up no you have to come here and drag it and make sure that you don't click here when you click here like uh, let me just do something like that let me when you click here and you make mistake just undo okay just hit ctrl z and continue right so let's continue so when you get here there's like a point a node okay and let's go here let me just get closer okay so click here this side also you go around it So let me just hurry up and just finish up so that finish this thing quick and you try us. So when you get to some place like this, you can see that this is disturbing. Okay, like you want to move this way and the pen is telling you that you can't because it's pink you can break out of the link by hitting on alt so you'll be holding on alt and you click on the node the previous node okay to cut that relationship so that's just what i did and here too it has happened here. i want to go like this it says i should go this way I don't want that so I hold out and I click on the previous node. Okay, so I think down it's okay, and this is going too far. Alt and let's get closer here to I hit alt and I come closer. Yeah, so come closer again. And I hit on hot. So let me zoom out. So we can move faster. 
So we're almost done. Let me just come out here. Come here, over here. And let's, okay, let me just, I wanted to cut the video and just keep it, but let's just do everything manual. Okay, so that you see that this is how the process is. Okay, we are almost done. So we get here. And so when you are done, you have to end it. So it let it look like um, a shape. Okay, so you have to end it to let it look like a shape. So I'm ending it so that it looks like a shape. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so after that, then you can see that we have a shape and we have um, that over there, the image over there. Right, so the shape you can see that I can add a color, I can take out the color. Let me just zoom out so that you see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can add a color, you can take out the color, but that's not what we want. We, we want the image like the man in the without the background. Okay, so that's actually what we want. So, what you do is after you tracing around and forming your shape, so after doing that, we will treat the image as if it's a shape. That's what you do. Okay. So let's select the shape and select the image. Okay. Then you go to the top here and look for intersect. When you select the two of them, you have this option over here. Okay. So you go to intercept. Right. So when you intercept, now the intersection means that what between the first shape and the last shape you want something in the middle so that is what you are giving so that is absolutely what it does okay so when i click on this place and i drag you can see that i have the image separately so i have the man separately from this and if i want another one i can make another intersection and do that okay but what this does is the image is not like the background itself is not going totally but just that we are you are maxing it it's something like as if you're maxing it but it's not going totally so if maybe uh you finish with this and you find out that oh let me just delete it the, the main image so you can delete the main image and you can delete also the shape that you use in um generating this one okay so now let's assume no, I, I want some place that i didn't get right okay so let's assume uh i omitted a part here that means i have to unveil it okay so that's when i go here and i look for the shape um, the shape tool and i will come here and I'll look for the node and raise it up a little. So like let's assume there is a little content that I missed. So I'll raise it up a little, then I see the content up. Or maybe I have to bring the line very close to the image. Uh, I'll do that. So uh, it, it seems like this one here, I, I have something like here. It's not that deep. Uh, I'll, I'll just bring it in a little and that is okay for me and when it does that so with this one you can actually bring your own image and drag it and put it in if you want to so let me just find another image on my uh, on my PC and just put it in there 
okay so now you see how it looks like so i have one here copy and let me paste it here okay so order you send it to back page and you have that so that's uh, that's how you do it okay so when you, you feel like you want to make it a whole picture you want you select the two of them you group it then you make a shape that's a rectangular shape for your own self where you can clip these two in okay so you power clip them in the shape so this power clip and you power clip them inside the shape all right mostly well, you get this or you may get it getting straight when you get it you can still do this and edit and just put it inside i think i think um, i have to bring this down a little little and that's that's good so you can see that this looks like a picture on its own this looks like a picture on its own different from the first one right and that is how we just crop image and we use them in congratulations you've made it to the end of this video once more and thank you for watching and thank you for spending some time with me hope you've learned something from this video and hope you pass it alongside with this video okay so please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also like and comment below if you haven't okay so thank you very much and see you again peace